Hey everyone, good morning, Egwin here. Development is something we all have in common and we constantly develop whether it's conscious or not. Actually, when we think about development like that, the question is, what's with this big hype about personal development on one hand side and on the other hand side with those people who think that personal development is just strange or weird or doesn't fit in society or so? Well, think about it. Every single day we have to adapt, we have to change. So our body is in a constant flux and in a constant state of development. If development in the physical as well as emotional and mental level stops at some point, we literally use our ability to survive. It might be okay for say a day, for a week, maybe even for a month or half a year, but at some point the body just loses its ability to stay fit, the body loses its ability to actually connect and interact with environment. Many of those aspects that I'm talking about here, about development, are completely subconscious, are completely natural, are actually biological and physical basic principles. Now, what is with personal development or rather conscious personal development? Why do it? Well, think about it like that. Let me give you this analogy. Say, your body with its natural ability and its natural, its natural um, process of adapting represents yourself just simply eating bread and water throughout your whole life. But suddenly you realize that apart from bread and water, there is also something else. There is actually zucchini, there is tomatoes, there is noodles, there is um, something like, well, vegetables in general, or maybe even meat or whatever. So you realize that the food you could use to eat and to support the very basic functions of your body, that food comes in much more varieties than just bread and water. Now the question is, do you want your body to still just run on bread and water fuel? Or do you want your body to run on vitamin rich fuel that boosts it to the next level? And that's a pretty good analogy, I think, also with development. You can let development happen and just simply live. And as soon as development completely stops, which it never does until you die, exactly that would happen. You would die sooner or later. Now imagine what happens in reverse. If you consciously focus part of your attention and your intention and, and your, your direction on actually developing consciously. Imagine what happens then, exactly. You're not gonna die, no. Life gets a boost in all ways possible. You have more energy, you're more focused, you're more clear in your mind, and you definitely have a lot more possibilities to exchange, to experience. And that's what personal development is all about. Personal development, to use the analogy again, is to use a vitamin-rich diet over simply a bread and water diet, over to choose to live to the fullest or at least to more of your potential than you are currently using instead of choosing to stay where you are right now. Because one thing you always have to remember you can only experience new things with change. If you do not change, then no new things will come to you. And then life would really seem gray and gray. But life can be extremely colorful. And that's what personal development can be about, if you allow it to. All right, let's keep it short this time. 
I'm gonna talk more about this subject in the very near future. Let me know what you think, give me some comments. Happy to interact with you and also, yeah, have this feedback, have this, have this community going. And looking forward to see you on one side or the other of personal development and improvement. See you soon. Bye.